Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I will be showing you the training pack I use to train my freestyle mechanics and also you can treat this as a pack that will take your mechanics from champ level to GC level. Uh, the code is right over here and I'll be talking you through each shot, kind of showing you how I use it and how I train to become more consistent. Uh, let's get right into it. For the first shot, I just want to warm up my mechanics so I'm just going to go for a basic air dribble and try and push it all the way into the net. Now it's important that you're touching the underside of the ball so that you can give it lift and height all the way to the to the goal without bouncing and you're also going to want to use your air roll to adjust your car to be able to do that. Here I'm going to go for something a little more. I'll go for one touch into a flip reset and try and flick it top ends. This is a really useful shot because you can beat multiple defenders in this way and it's just a fast way to travel the ball across the field and that change of direction of the ball and speed makes it hard to save. Here on this wall, we're gonna go for something a little different. We're gonna go for a double flip reset. When going for rapid resets, remember you're gonna have to use a diagonal flip cancel and then reorient your car after you've grabbed the first reset, use that diagonal flip cancel and then be in a position to hit the ball in the net top ends. Here I'm gonna go for something a little different. It's gonna be a reset into an air dribble touch and then I'm gonna go for a musty. Not the best musty, but this is something that, that can work in comp because this air dribble touch slows down the play and the change of speeds is really disorienting for the defense. So that's something that uh, can be used quite nicely. Here we're gonna pretend like it's a breakaway and we're trying to get the ball in net as quickly as possible. One touch it, go to the ceiling, flip down, use the musty to score it as fast as you can. Again, this is like they double committed and you got a ball rolling to the wall and this is the fastest way that you can put it in because it's already rolling up the wall. Uh, I'm going to go for that one touch or the reset air dribble musty again just to get a better one for you guys. There's the air dribble. Okay, there we go. That's a better musty and that that's ha has enough pace where it's going to be able to beat most goalkeepers and defenders. This next shot is going to be just a bouncing ball and I'll do a comp version of a musty flick there and you can see that that's um, going to be really useful in sweaties because you never slow your momentum down so you can't be demoed or chased down and you still get a lot of power and a lot of style out of that musty. And you can do a lot of stuff with this one. You can maybe snag some 360 dribbles if you're practicing it, and practice catching and taking it to the wall, cut it back in. Flick it to the backboard for a teammate, or if you got the boost, go ahead and double it. That's one of the major pros of this pack is that you're able to, if you're focusing on dribbling, air dribbling, flip resets, you can turn just about any shot in this pack into that. Here I'm going to go for a classy flick, which is really useful in ones because it looks like a classic air dribble bump setup or just a plain old air dribble setup, and you can catch them off guard with the flick. As you can see, this was 100 kph, which is pretty powerful. On shot number four, you want to take control of the ball as it bounces off the wall, roll it up the corner so that it has forward momentum, follow the ball, and hit them with a sidewall must be double tap. It's important to remember to cancel your backflip here in order to follow the ball more effectively and without using too much boost. The setup is really important on the sidewall musty doubles to be able to perform it consistently. Here, same thing, other wall, catch the ball, pick it up, sidewall musty, and then get the angle, double tap. It's, it's important also that once you get the hang of these mechanics at unlimited boost in training, that you take that bind off and use limited boost so that you know you can do them in game. Here again, catch the ball. I'm gonna go for a ceiling musty double tap. Same thing with every every single musty. Fly in the same path that the ball is going to the net in order to catch the musty at full pace. And then once you cancel your flip, air roll, get yourself flying back up with it and finish it. Here, same thing to the other side, but I'm going to do a flip reset musty double. Uh, these can work really well in ones, especially if the opponent's grounded. If he's on the backboard, you don't want to flick it right to him. You can just start to air dribble right there and make him jump down from the wall and then use your flip whenever he challenges. This next shot, we got a cuxer pinch. 
Oh my. Okay, yeah, caught that one pretty good. I always aim for the ball just above the curvature of the wall where it meets the straight wall right there. And you turn your car and use your flip to get some good pow pow. We're going to go same thing to the other side. Since I'm a left air roll user, I have to do a twirl. That's not the best pinch, but in a comp scenario that can force out some bad saves. Here we're just going to go on a double tap rampage. Some important things to remember are once you get the hang of these double taps, I would just recommend you going as fast as humanly possible and drilling them into the back wall. Because the higher and harder you hit them into the backboard, the more likely you're able to score these shots in game. Because defenders are starting to get crazy at this game, just like people are starting to get crazy on offense. I don't use too much air roll on these, just enough to adjust and try and aim my shot in the net with power. As you can see here, if you want to get crazy with it, do tornado spins. You can do anything with these. You can go up and catch a flip reset on this and try and do something crazy. That's just a great part of this pack because if you're practicing double taps, you can turn everything into a double tap or air dribbles or flip resets, whatever you're trying to work on. It's just very, it's a, it's a good pack to get it from multiple angles. And there's so many game scenarios that come up that are in this pack and it just helps you become more consistent. Here we got a bouncing ball, pop that up. Let's get one touch into a flip reset. You can see that small change in momentum of the ball. That's going to make it really hard for the opponent to save. Here, let's just go for a speedy double tap. On this one, I recommend jumping as soon as you hit the ball just to try and catch the angle of the double tap as close to the wall as you can and go as speedy as you can. Rolling up the corner. You can do anything here. I'm going to snag a reset, air dribble touch, mustard, and then double tap that in. Again, you can fly to ceiling here. You can get multiple resets. You can try and ceiling pinch. You could try and reset musty. It's, it's just whatever you want to practice. For this mirrored version of this, I'm just going to go for a standard double reset here. Try and change the direction of the ball multiple times to see if you can't beat multiple defenders in a competitive situation where you've been boost starving them and you get a rolling ball up the wall. And then the pinch the ball hot when they have low boost. Here, rolling ball, we're just gonna pop that up. I'm gonna go for a reset and just try and hit a top bins. Nice. That's a really, really sweaty shot and there's not too much mechanics going on besides snagging the reset and staying with the ball. Again, if you're freestyling, you can do anything with this ball. I'll try and show you a different version here where I snag the reset and then try and catch a musky flick. That's pretty low. But I got a nice scoop on it, and again, you can you can change these shots to do whatever you're working on. If you want to air dribble that, if you want to double touch that. In fact, I'll show you a, just a standard double touch here. Pop it up, fly after it. This one's a little slow, but it's got a decent angle on it. And that's just it's good to practice that, especially off kickoff when they're low boost. You can hit it to backboard quickly, maybe a little faster than that. This could be a good goal. Here's another simulated force kickoff back to you, pop it up, hit it, fly to the ceiling, and use this pre-flip to finish it off. And that's just one of the more stylish things you can do. And I think it's good practice to get a touch here and then fly to the ceiling. Just practicing how your car moves in different scenarios and get comfortable with that. Sidewall redirects, let's see. Ooh, yeah, caught that one pretty good. This is really important because in games, a lot of time, the ball is flying off the side wall. And it's important to practice this with speed and improve your reads. There's a lot of different uh, applicable situations for these two shots in particular, mirrored to both sides. Didn't quite catch that one as good, but I hit it pretty solid. This simulates a fake kickoff. And you're gonna wanna double tap this one. It's important that the angle at which you catch the ball off your initial touch is at an angle at which you can follow it without losing momentum because if you're trying to change directions, you're not gonna have enough boost to finish that. The same thing the other side, I'll try a musky it out of the air. Just trying to show that the more creative you can be on these shots, the better. And I think you're just gonna find a lot of different scenarios in which you can just let your mind wander and try different things here. 
Let's go up, snag this reset, get an air dribble and a regular musty. Uh, even if you do mess up what you're initially going for, I would recommend not immediately resetting the shot because it's good practice to be able to bail yourself out and recover and still do something that can not get you scored on immediately. There, I'm gonna use a stall, get a double reset and finish. Stalls are pretty disorienting for the defender and it can look like you've messed up and then if you use your pre-flip quickly out of the stall, you should be able to beat a couple defenders with that kind of shot. Here, just a normal air dribble, full length of the field, off the bounce. This one's pretty hard, so don't get frustrated. You just gotta make sure you're hitting the underside of the ball and flying in a direction where you don't have to use too many adjustments and lose momentum. Here we got another air dribble. I'm gonna get three touches and then try and finish it with a double. At higher ranks, when you get a pop like this, someone is gonna pre-jump you. So it's important to try and take this ball as high as you can. That's why I touched it three times and then try and beat the last guy with a finish off the backboard. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Just try and take it as high as I can four touches before I finish this. You can see I turned my car back around to give myself space to finish that double tap. And it's just, these are really important to be able to maintain possession. And if you know the guy's up, you can get a 50. Here I'll do the same thing, try for a double tap off of an air dribble setup. I'm gonna show you something a little more crazy, a little more creative energy with the next shot. I'm gonna try and fly to the ceiling and then use a pre-flip to finish it. Again, just let your mind wander, whatever you're working on. If you're working on power shots, do that. If you're working on double taps, flip resets, musty flicks, just try and incorporate into as many setups as you can. Here, I'm just gonna try and stick the ball to my car and throw it into the top ends. Really applicable scenario would be you're playing ones, you know your opponent's boost starved. Just get the ball up in the air and try and keep it high. Even if he does touch this, you're gonna dunk him in. Here, I'm just gonna go for a classic air dribble, stick it to my car and try and speed it up on the finish just to push it past the defender. These ones are weird. I'm trying for musty redirects here and this is just good for clearing the ball in high level lobbies and trying to get your teammate the ball if he is rating what you're doing and trusts you. As you can see, musty it into the sidewall. Try and catch a redirect as best you can. And I'm just gonna follow this and let it go in. Just so you can kind of see the setup if you have a free ball to your back wall. Gonna try and air dribble this all the way from our back wall into the net. Clears like this, if you have boost on defense and your teammates starved are just really vital to being able to win games and not give up goals off of pressure from boost starving. I'm gonna show you another version of this where I pre-flip into it and try and catch an air dribble touch into a reset, just because I think this could be useful as well and it will definitely use less boost because of the pre-flip off the back wall. As you can see there, I didn't use nearly as much boost as the air dribble. Same thing to the other wall, just gonna try and catch it with a pre-flip, get one touch, do a flip reset try and speed the ball up with the finish and again guys I this pack is so useful for whatever you want to work on so please just try and try as many different things as you can and just have fun with it and please remember to like and subscribe uh, to my channel I'm gonna be trying to post long videos weekly and I will be posting different shorts of clips uh, every day until I reach 1k sub